Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with part two of the epic Canadian candy box. Yeah, this is an epic box that was sent to us by Katie and Andy. Last week we tried all the snacks or the crisps. Yep. And if they're anything to go by, I can't wait yeah, to try I'm this I'm so box. excited. They picked out so many good snacks and I think so many of them were right up our street, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, and things we hadn't tried from yeah. Canada before. So I can't wait for this box. It looks so delicious. I was thinking before we start, mm. shall we do another couple guesses because yeah. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Thank you Katie and Andy. If you didn't watch the video last week definitely click the link up there and you can watch the first half. We were sent this little booklet which is Manitobaisms, a dictionary. And basically it's explaining what some of the word yeah. sentences and things you say. And we had a little guess and you were so good at I them. I got a couple right. Yeah. yeah. So um, I was only really guessing. Don't read them all otherwise no, you'll I'm know gonna what do, I'm going to do one here for you. Okay. okay. What is a deke? A deke? Is it a type of person in Canada, Manitoba specifically? No. It's a term used in hockey for when a player fakes an opponent out of oh. position. I'll do one more. Okay. What is a? Oh, that's like um, at the end of a sentence you go a, eh? yeah. like right? Canadian slang often used at the end of a sentence to elicit agreement. For example, it snowed a lot last night, eh? eh? And we have said so many times that you guys in Canada say a. Eh? And people say they don't say Good. that. But, but it's, it's in, in the book. It's in a Manitobaisms <laughs> dictionary. <laughs> and I get that maybe not every part of Canada, but like yeah. a lot of the people we know from Canada say a, eh, don't they? Yeah, but also I think we say a eh, here as well, especially in the North, but it's a slightly different, it's not a, eh, it's like a. Eh? A. Eh? A. Eh? Okay. What is BDI? Um, it's someone who's got like really small little... <laughs> Dark eyes. <laughs> no, it's a bridge drive-in, a classic retro drive-in located near a bridge that features ice cream and other sweet oh, treats. Good. I'd love to go there. What's a garbage mitts? Garbage mitts. Uh, they're the gloves you wear when you go put your rubbish out because it's so cold. It says a type of mitt worn in winter that looks similar to the ones worn by waste collectors. Mm. The thing is it gets so cold in Canada. If yeah. you were like a bin man, yeah. the fact that you're in and out it must be quite damaging yeah. to your skin. So they must really wrap up. Well, remember we spoke to James who lives in Manitoba and he'd done some work on the roads, I oh, think he yes. said. And he said about having like a whole onesie type yeah, thing. Yeah, and like he? his beard was crusty yeah. because it's like ice. Yeah, how funny. <laughs> Could you imagine it was so crusty? Your beard just <laughs> like- just froze over. And you just like- Well, it happens to me sometimes that my beard feels like wet after I've been out in the cold because of the condensation. Yeah, how funny. So then that wet must like freeze, freeze. if it's cold enough. Anyway, shall we crack on yeah, with this awesome box? What should we start with, Kate? Should we go OMG? Yes. Now we have tried something from OMG. I feel like Do you we remember? have, I? I really recognize this branding, but I don't think we've tried both of those. So we've got milk chocolatey clusters and vanilla fudge clusters, and these are both made in Winnipeg, Manitoba. So mine are vanilla fudge clusters with almonds and toffee. These ones are milk chocolate clusters with almonds and toffee. Oh, so they're the same, but milk yeah. and white. Cheers. Cheers. Well, oh, that's a big one. Hmm. I only recently realized how often I say, mmm. Mm. <laughs> and me say, wow. While I'm still eating, before I can actually talk, talk it's like the way I react. And so you can either have a good, mmm, mmm, or, or a bad, mmm, mm, or inquisitive, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mm. I couldn't even try. These are much sweeter, these ones, aren't they? Mm. When you go to someone's house, around Easter time in England and they've made Rice Krispie treats, Thanks. but with a generic chocolate. Mm. And that reminds me of Lorna, I used to make the chocolate. I really like those because it didn't say it on the outside, but they've got a really nice bit of biscuit in. Yeah, there's biscuit in, isn't there? Almost reminds me a little bit of like a very rough, more chunky tiffin, like a chocolate tiffin. Mm. Really nice. I really like these. Yeah. That's a really good vanilla fudge. Yeah. I don't know what it was like, the fact that you tried these first, but these are my number one and then I'm They've two. got a nice sweetness and um, like you say, vanilla fudge almost sometimes has no flavor, yeah. whereas that actually has some flavor. And it was creamy. It was it really creamy. It actually kind of filled my mouth like white chocolate. Yeah. 
Uh, what are you giving those out of 10? I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. I really yeah. enjoyed them. I think they'd be really good with a cup of tea. I would still prefer the milk chocolate over the white fudge. I'm chocolate. going white 9, milk 8. Okay, I think we have something else that's kind of the same sort of yeah. vibe. And that's Utopia. This is a really cool package. So it's handcrafted toffee. That's yeah. cool. Caramel artisanal. Cashews, buttery toffee and swirl chocolate. Gluten free. Made in Winnipeg, Manitoba. The first batches were made in the creator's home kitchen and sold at craft markets Ooh. through the holiday season. Since then, the company has expanded through Manitoba, Saskatchewan and Ontario. That's so cool that it was actually made from home and now mm. they're a, like a big brand. This, look at this out. Oh, that looks nice. It looks amazing. Oh, wow. I thought it was going to be like a... I think it is like a brittle. Oh dear, yeah, it's brittle. Wow, that's fancy. That's really nice, isn't it? With the swirly mm -hmm. pattern on top. <laughs> Even though it's really hard to break. Yeah. Not for your teeth. Mm. I thought we were really gonna break our teeth. Oh wow. It almost turns into chewy caramel. Mm. It's funny how it's so brittle and you bite it, it's chewy. Mm. This is so good. Like really creamy and rich. Almost like an English toffee. Mm. So, do you know why another reason why I love that so much? No. Because it's cashews. Oh, I didn't even realise. Instead of peanuts. Yeah. And I feel like cashews are much more like creamier and milder. And crumbly. And crumbly, mm. yeah. Whereas sometimes peanuts can be a little bit... Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. I have grown to like peanuts, but that is absolutely delicious. The chocolate on top was so good. And the fact that it turned more chewy afterwards. Mm. These are 10 out of 10. What about for you? Yeah, 10 out of 10. If you can get your hands on those, definitely buy some of those. The thing is, there's so many things with peanut yeah, peanuts. In, so it's nice when there's a different nut in there. Uh -huh. Okay, that was awesome. Great to start the to the video. Should we do those big Turks? Because I feel like mm -hmm. they're kind of similar, aren't they? They're... Now we have tried those before, but the not minis. in this bag. Oh, they're Turkish delight. Yes. I thought these were like clusters. You know when we've had a big Turk bar? Mm -hmm. Was it not like a Mr. Big? No, was I feel a Turkish like it was a, bar, was a Turkish it? delight wrapped in. Ah. And this is mini versions. That's cool. Right, let us know down below. Are you a Turkish delight fan? Oh. <gasps> these are so cute. I wish we had like a mini version. We don't really get much. Um, we used to get Cadbury's Turkish Delight, but you can't really find that anymore. No, what's the one you get now? Yeah, Fries. They do one, don't yeah. they? Yeah. I love that they're small. And your Turkish Delight's always much harder than ours. Not mm. harder, just chewier. It's like a jelly sweet in mm. there, isn't it? You know what that reminds me of? Yeah, marvellous creations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's why I don't like our Turkish Delight, from what I remember. It's quite perfumed and a bit soft. It's like more the, like a jelly. Mm, that's really nice. Well, that's like a sweet. Really wow. Nice. That's a big win, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What are you going to give them out of 10? 10. I what think I will as well, actually. Mm. <laughs> and I think I preferred it in mini form. Really? Mm, than the bar. I love the bar. I but... the bar. Mm. Like I said, I thought the bar was like a Mr. Big. Oh. <laughs> I can't remember it. Oh, that was so good. So we've got two things that are mint. Do you remember these? Yes. The Russian so mints. Good. So this is Delecto Canadian Classics. And I have finally matured. I can now say I am a mint choc fan. Oh, well done, Kate. I've really got there. <laughs> you know, I used to watch this program called Super Nanny. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and basically... Is this where you get all your life advice from? <laughs> <laughs> basically, she said, a child needs to try something 14 times before they know they don't like something. Really? And obviously there'll be times where they love it immediately, but... And on the 13th time you realize you like mint chocolate <laughs> <laughs> but it just shows that like sometimes you have to just yeah. try things more and more it's like olives i never used to like that but i really wanted to like olives to look fancy i, I guess it depends what it is <laughs> okay ganong delecto canadian classics pet creams established in 1873 mm. ganong is Can canada's oldest independently family-owned and operated chocolate company. All products are manufactured in St. Stephen, New Brunswick. So yeah, I can't believe I'm the one saying, can we try the mint chocolate? <laughs> but with it being peppermint, I feel yeah. like, I feel like I'm still more of a mild um, mint cream person. Cheers. Cheers. These are so cute. They're like little chocolate drops. Mm. Not the chocolate buttons. Mm. Yeah, since 1873. Pet creams. Mm. Chocolat. Par excellence, establish, establi au Canada des Bois. I don't know why you always sound like a footballer when you say that. Mm. So it is on a scale of mint chocolate. It's more minty, isn't mm. it? Because it's peppermint. 
spice. But I do think when it's like a fondanty cream, mm. mint chocolate things are so nice. They're the perfect like after dinner chocolate, aren't they? Mm. Oh, that's so good. Right. Or we... even just on a Thursday afternoon. Yeah. You know? Why Thursday? So it's a good day, isn't it, <laughs> to have mint chocolate? Um, it's almost the weekend. Just get you through. <laughs> Monday, start the week. Right? No, I think they'd just easily be as good on a Tuesday morning. And what I like is that they're minis, yeah. quite nice and small. Mm. They're so good just to pop in and just have a refresh. Yeah. Okay, so we've got two Morden's things. Oh, cool. Those ones we haven't tried before. These are just assorted chocolates, are they? These ones? Yes, I believe so. What are you giving those pepped creams? I give them a nine out of ten. You yeah, know. I'm going to give them nine and a half. I don't Actually, think no, the... I'll give them a nine because I'm pretty sure these yeah, are ten. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think these are better, but they are really good. I love these little boxes. Yeah, cool, aren't they? They're kind of dated in a way, yeah, but I kind of but really I like, like them. That. Winnipeg's first chocolate making business opened in 1959. Russian mints from Mordens of Winnipeg won top prize for best chocolate piece at the World Fair in New Orleans in 1984. Well, I'm not surprised because they were fabulous. Yeah. Um, we always say New Orleans, but don't some people New go Orleans. New Orleans? Yeah. yeah. Also, when we got these from Julie, they had all melted, so yeah. we might actually now see what they should look dun, like. Dun, dun. Dun. Oh, Ooh. nice. Fabulous. Much too good for children. Nightmare. Much too good for Alex. Hmm. <laughs> No, they're actually quite... Totally different experience. Mm. But actually, what? You know, a hard bit in the middle. I thought it would mm. be soft. You mm. can see that there's like a shell of chocolate, but that there in the middle is obviously a different, slightly different yeah. texture, isn't it? But I really isn't love... Isn't that crazy? Um, it's a completely different yeah. experience. And I love the bite. And obviously, there's a lot of oil in there because last time we saw it, it all seeped out. And it was all on the packet mm. as well. But it's like held in there. Yeah. That's really cool, isn't it? And we have the assorted chocolate. Oh no, this really is. <laughs> My chocolate for children. <laughs> too good for children. Oh my word, this is literally much too good for children. Go on out, you say it. Much too good for children. <laughs> you need to attack it a bit more. Much too good for children. <laughs> Give me another note. <laughs> All right, now you need to go, much too good for children. And then you actually need to like grab one okay. after it. Much too good for children. <laughs> yes, that's better. There we go. But there's nothing that says No, oh, I fancy the look it. of this one. This is like a little chocolate square, but it looks like it might have bits of nut in it. Yeah, stuff. this is like a marble creation. Mm. Oh. Mmm. 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 Has that got a flavour in it? It's like fruity. It almost tastes like Palma Violets. That's so crazy, it's fruity. I might try Google. Mmm. Like a caramel. Toffee and nuts, yeah. Who can delight. Mmm. These are all very good. I'll have tried them There's all literally the nothing that I can. Oh, is that like a peppermint cream? Yeah. Look at that, it's like a patty. That's so thick. Mm. Oh, is that like strawberry? Mmm. Mm -hmm. This mint one's amazing. Oh, I don't know what the flavour is. Isn't it crazy how different you could change? Yeah. Whoa, I'm loving their cream. This is delicious. This cream here is like a cream egg. This is such a nice experience. Mm. <laughs> They're delicious. <laughs> it's just not the done thing. You wouldn't just get a box of chocolates like this no. and just have a bite of one bite of all of them, would you? This is so cool. Really I'm really cool. enjoying them. They're so delicious. You're right, I think that's a strawberry cream. Or raspberry. And that's just a chocolate block. Mmm, mm, try that. These are so good. Do you have a favourite in there? Oh my word, is that caramel? Yeah, caramel. I think that one. Oh. Mmm, that raspberry maybe. Mm. So good. I love the mint ones, but this selection has been mm. insane. And this was what I was hoping out of the Russell like Stover box. Yeah. And the kind of Russell Stover kind of let us down a bit, didn't it? Yeah, their assorted box isn't as good as their individual. As their wrapped. individual. Whereas these boxes are delicious. Yeah. Wow. All of these have been really good. This patty is so good. <laughs> <laughs> so good you threw it. <laughs> wow. That's really good, isn't it? That was such a good experience. Mm. I'm super excited about this. We've got some really awesome looking gummies and one of the other Frank items. So in our first box, we tried a lot of Frank chips and we found out that uh, it's a 
it's a product that's sold in Canadian, Canadian Tire, Tire, which is a Canadian hardware automotive leisure and home goods chain. Um, so they have recently introduced Canadians to Frank, their private label brand of confectionery and home products. They have punny taglines and be sure to read the caption from the back. So do you wanna read that And one? this says, Frank says, hello Dolly. And these are Dolly Mix Jelly fondant candy. That's so smart. This says, you had me at hello, or was it the colorful pieces of candy that made my taste buds sing? Call me old fashioned, but there's something extra sweet about Dolly. That's good, isn't it? I didn't realize Dolly mixtures were a thing in Canada as well. My favorite Dolly mixtures are these jellies. Oh yeah, me too. And like the um the these pink squares. Oh yeah. The my least favorite Dolly oh, mixture no, is the like brown the ones. ones. Yeah. Ooh, these are good. They smell great. Like these things are like fondant, like on a cake, isn't mm. it? But it's basically just sugar, isn't it? Mm. Well, slightly harder than the ones I've yeah, had. Yeah, they before. feel quite and smaller. They're not overly sweet, are yeah. they? Yeah. Got a nice flavour. Mm. What do you think then? Mm. Because we have so many like Dolly mm. mixtures here, then they don't taste exactly the same. So it is a bit funny tasting them. Do you mm. know what I mean? Yeah. Because you see them and you expect them to taste one mm. way, but they don't. But they, they are, are good. They are very good and very nice. Yeah. But it's funny how different like the same they item can, taste, can be. Yeah. Do you want to go Maynards or Twizzlers? Uh, Maynards. This is Maynards Tropical Swedish Berries. Oh, they feel nice. Yeah. Look at the colours oh of them. Oh my word, they're like milky. They're like That's milky. not what I was expecting. They're opaque, aren't they? I was mm. expecting them to be um, I wonder if they're mixed translucent. with. Translucent. We've got Tropical Island, Passion Fruit, Pina Colada, Beachy Punch. <laughs> Which one do you want? I'm gonna go Passion Fruit. I'm gonna go Beachy Punch. I'm going to go pina colada. Actually, I'll go passion fruit. Mmm, the tropical is mm. really nice, not orange. This is a beachy punch. Maybe we'll have to try them all. <laughs> They're a really nice texture. Mm. Oh, the tropicals love. Oh no, the passion fruit's lovely. Mm. Is the beachy punch kind of cherry? No, not really. Like when you press them, they kind of feel like they'd be a bit hard, but they've got a really nice bite. And it's got a chew, but it's not the chew that sticks in your teeth. It's in my teeth, but it's coming out. Mm. They are very good. Not what I was expecting because looking at those, I don't think the photos look like what they look like. They're so I think milky. So. I think they've just made them look shinier because that's more appealing. So I was just expecting them to be those clear kind of jellies, mm. but they are delicious. Absolutely delicious. What are you giving those? We can give them a nine out of 10. You yeah, know. I'm going to give them a nine out of 10. They're pretty up there with some of the best yeah. sweets we've tried. Twizzlers gummies, Nouveau. And what's it say here? This says made in Canada. <laughs> um, made in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not say that first? No, made in Canada. Canada. Oh, did you imagine your Canada was from Canada? I like Canada. Now that's what I was. Want. Mango and strawberry. Ooh. And pineapple and strawberry. Now this is oh, what I'm I wanted. Oh, passion fruit and strawberry. Sorry, <laughs> doing that three times because I, I saw that down there and then I saw one up there and then I saw one over there. Sorry. <laughs> right. This is what I wanted to know because Twizzlers are massive in America. Mm. So can you get these Twizzlers gummies in yeah. America too? I wonder if they're as big in Canada. <laughs> well, I think you need a tongue twister. Yeah. Try the sweet tongue twister taste of Twizzlers tongue twisters gummies. Try the sweet tongue twisting taste of Twizzlers tongue tongue twisting gummies. <laughs> That's just really... Try the sweet tongue twisting taste of Twizzlers tongue twisting gummies. Let me see if I can go faster. Try the sweet tongue twisting taste of Twizzlers tongue twisting gummies. <laughs> that really That's reminds good. me, there's this really funny TikTok video where this woman is saying she struggles mm. with like talking yeah. sometimes. And there's this thing which is one sock cutter he cut socks. Two sock cutters. They cut socks. Three sock cutters. Anyway, she ends up putting all these other words yeah. in, as you can guess. I always said one of them there. <laughs> and it was really funny. Oh, that's a lovely flavour. So far, these are all the same. Oh, two different flavours there. Green so is pineapple, pineapple and strawberry. pineapple and strawberry. That's funny. You don't often mm, mix those. Purple and red is passion fruit and strawberry. These are so much better than... Twizzlers. They are, aren't they? Twizzlers should just make these. That Although texture. I'm sure there's people who do like them. Mm. What's people who like licorice? Mm. Oh, it's like a mouth with the Twizzler poking out. Oh my word, I thought it was a um, a shell. Yes, I did. 
Oh yeah. Like a conch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it like yeah. kind of and the crab comes Scurrying down. Scurrying away, <laughs> yeah. Don't look at my tail. What one do you prefer? Uh, they're all kind of the same to me. Mm. I think the strawberry and mango was the first oh, mango and strawberry is delicious. Yeah. They're they're very mild in flavour, but yeah. they're so delicious. Really they are I think I'm giving those ten out of ten. I'm gonna They give, were really delicious. I'll give them a seven out of ten. What? Yeah. I'd much prefer these. Really? Mm. No, I didn't. Really? I much preferred those. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, I preferred the flavours, the chew. And what's so good about this is I like every single flavour. Pineapple and strawberry. I liked every single flavour of this. Mango and strawberry. No, I know, but that is fab. We'll have to agree to disagree. We'll have to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what would you like to do next? Finish the sweets yeah, off. Yeah, let's finish the sweets. We've got Nutty Club. Nutty Club. Well. So it's your club. No wonder we've got these because you're part of that club, aren't you? <laughs> You got your membership You're a bit card. Nasty. Now this is the bag, the type of bag I talk about when we've had like the Idaho Spud things. Like over here, something like this always comes across as like it's from a, a cheaper I've brand. I've never seen anything in a bag like this. Really? You don't go to corner shops much. I don't go to corner shops much. No. So these are lemon drops and raspberry drops. Nutty Club Scott. Bathgate Limited began in Winnipeg, Manitoba in 1903 as importers and manufacturer agents. As part of an expansion, do you mind? Sorry. <laughs> as part of an expansion in the 1930s, they opened offices, warehouses, and factories across Canada and introduced Nutty Club, their brand of confectionaries. That's like um, Canadian Tire. Yeah doing something else. What I really like is that the red ones are raspberry. raspberry. Usually they're cherry. Yeah, it's really cool. These, if we could go anywhere, would be perfect for a flight. You mm. know, for that moment when you take off or land and you need something to suck on so your ears don't pop. Mm. They're really enjoyable. That's a really nice lemon. Really nice raspberry flavor. It's not too like artificial. It mm. really tastes like lemon. Is it quite sharp or is it? Mm. It is. Well, it starts off quite mild. Oh, delicious raspberry, isn't it? Candy man. Candy man. What are you singing? <laughs> that song. You're going, can. <laughs> <laughs> You're a different part of the song than I thought you were. I thought you were ready for candy man. Candy man. The honey word of mine. We drank champagne and we danced all night. We took the paparazzi to a big surprise. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're definitely... Sweet about a candy man. Sweet about a candy man. Wow, wow! I got a lot of laughing. That's a lovely raspberry flavor. That's really good. They're some of the best lemon drops I've had. Really? The flavor was really good. It's funny, like you said, when you see something in a package like that, and the branding is a bit old school. You yeah. think, are these going to be any good? They look like the kind of thing you get at a fair. Not necessarily sure how good the quality of them is, but the flavour is really, really good. Really delicious. Okay, moving on to some snacks. Yeah, Timmy's. Yeah, let's get them out. Tim Hortons. Apple fritter. That's a good flavour. Yeah. So is this like a breakfast bar? Mmm, chewy granola bar. Mm. Prepared in Canada, made with Canadian oats. And these say new. So I'm wondering if this is a new flavour or if it's a new bar. So I like it's interesting the they do these kind of products. Because I suppose if you're a big fan of Tim Hortons, like you'd probably see this in the shop and actually get them, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, especially if it was next to the coffee you were already picking up. Oh my word. See that? It says beignet. Yeah. There's something that the Kardashians always get and they're called like bane yet. Yeah. And the translation is chewy. So I wonder if that's like partly why mm. they're called that. Is it good? Mmm. I thought it was going to be really hard and crisp. It's really it's chewy. It's chewy. Well, it's been yet. Mmm. It's really nice. I used to love the Quaker Oats, um, mm. no, the chewy bars. Yeah. Because obviously this isn't like a sweet, really. No. It's kind of between a sweet and a snack. Uh-huh. But it's got a really nice apple fritter flavour, hasn't it? I think apple's a good flavour to mm. do in something like this because in the morning, as an adult, you don't want anything too like um, fake fruit. You know, apple feels quite natural. And... Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I think I've got an idea. <laughs> You know, like pop tarts. Oh my word! One of the ingredients in this is called fancy molasses. 
Not, not your, any type not of molasses. Not the normal molasses, the fancy Fancy stuff. can. They're actually really good. I usually don't go for like granola bars, hmm. but I think that's mainly one, too healthy for me, which we've learned. They're yeah. not actually that healthy. <laughs> but number two, they're usually so kind of just like brittle and like dry. Yeah. Whereas that was chewy and delicious. Yeah. Okay, but, shall we move on to biscuits? Yes, let's. We've got some Girl Scout cookies, which is exciting. That's cool. And we've got Dad's oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. Are they called Girl Scouts in Canada though? Because here oh, it says guides. They're guides, aren't they? Girl guides cookies. That's cool. I'll These look nice though, don't they? Everything she wants to be. Pour quel est au bas de ce revs? Revs. Girl guide cookies. Girl guides of Canada. Chocolate and vanilla. These are sold every summer in the fall slash winter. They sell chocolate mint cookies, which are my fave. Unfortunately, they're not being sold right now, but I'll be sure to send you a box once they are. Oh, you're too kind. Isn't that funny? Oh because our girl guides over here don't do this, do they? No. It's only in, they don't. in on the continent of North America. Do and they, they don't really fundraise for themselves, if that makes or sense. Or anything. I really like how there's two flavors in here. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Good idea. Because then you can have a vanilla one, if you prefer, and yep. I can have a chocolate one. Let us know down below if you were a Canadian girl, girl guide. guide. I was a cub, and then I was a scout. And I was a brownie. Do you remember your, your honor? Right. Should I do it again? Yeah. The brownie guide law. I promise that I'll do my best to love my God, to serve my queen and my country, to help other people and to keep a brownie guide law. To keep the brownie guide law. Well done. A brownie guide, and then it goes on to the other one. I think the law is a brownie guide does, I can't remember that one. God, that's sad. And you still uphold it now, do you? Yeah. 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 It's in your everyday life. I was basically um, kicked out of brownies because Why? I got too old. <laughs> Well, that's when you go to guides. Yeah, but I didn't want to go to guides. Why? I was really shy as a child and like, yeah, I enjoyed the things when I was there, but the thought of a girl camp mm. was really scary to me. And one time, <laughs> one time we slept in this like massive hall. Did I tell you this? And my bed got pulled out. Your bed got pulled out? With me on it. By who? One of the older girls. I'm pretty sure Holly was there and she'll back me up. <laughs> the bed got pulled out with you on so it. So you're on like these camper beds. Was that, being, was that bullying? Being mean. Bullying. You're bullying you. They pulled my bed. Yeah, because you were young. <laughs> the youngest. Oh, that's, they pulled it into where? The, the centre. <laughs> Maybe because they liked you. Maybe. <laughs> I used to oh, like cubs and me. I used to like cubs and scouts because um, were you they had the a, bully? No, they had a football team. <laughs> oh really? So it was just an excuse to play football oh. all the time. Yeah, it but was I horrible. Think, well, I enjoyed going like to the camps and like getting to stay in tents and yeah, you know, like, it's just all outdoorsy things, isn't yeah. it? That's fun when you're like young. I did and... really enjoy it in the end, but I think that was kind of near the beginning. And I think when you've got an older sister as well, because they know your sister hmm. and things like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, what that chocolate think... one is really we'll good. Go. Yeah. Completely different to an Oreo, oh. but... Do you want a bit of that? No. Do you want a bit of the chocolate one? Yeah, I might do. Oh, well, maybe I will, though. The icing in there is so nice. Mmm. Icing is so nice. Hefty biscuit. Mm. Even though it's a cream icing, it really tastes like mm. icingy, doesn't it? Yeah. Like well, an that's Oreo. That's what I was going to say. I think they're so different from Oreos because I think the biscuit on an Oreo is very sweet. Whereas on these, the biscuit is just very plain and Not biscuity. Not sweet, yeah. And it's all about the filling. The filling in the white one is delicious and oh. creamy. And the chocolatey one is so, it's like a chocolate buttercream. It's the, delicious. The icing in the vanilla one's really like got a lovely sweetness mm. to it, but not like you say with the biscuits, not overpowering. Mm. They're really good. A nice chunky Well biscuit. done, girls. Well done, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they made them. <laughs> <laughs> they sold them though. <laughs> and it's thanks to them. Well done, yeah. ladies. What are you giving those then? I'm gonna give them a nine and a half out of 10. I don't think they're as good as Oreos, but yeah. they are excellent. That's the thing, I'll probably just give them an eight. In some ways, I'm a bit scared that I might prefer one of those chocolate ones to a bourbon. Oh, yeah, they're, they're really, really good. good. These are Dad's. These are from Christine. Christy. Oh yeah, we, um, what was it we tried from We them? had something from them last time. This is Dad's Oatmeal Chocolate Chip. No artificial flavors or colors. Eight portion packs, two cookies per pack. Got all the information. 
Since 1929, we have been baking dad's oatmeal cookies with quality ingredients and the goodness of rolled oats. These cookies are a tasty snack that can be enjoyed at any time of day. Oh look, they obviously make something else. Try our, try the delicious fudge cream cookies from mm. Christine Collection. They're not dad's though. It says here, we've been baking dad's oatmeal cookies because he can't be bothered and put them in himself. <laughs> <laughs> like when, when you read that, I was just thinking, we've been de baking yeah. his cookies. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Everyone's dad might be different. Yeah. <laughs> Some people's dad might be really like Into proactive. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're crunchy oatmeal, mm. are they? Our dad will only make something if someone else won't do it. <laughs> like, remember when he wanted to get into sourdough bread? He like bought all the stuff and he was talking about it, but yeah, what he actually wanted was someone else to make it. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't made any oatmeal cookies, but he has done a few attempts at sourdough. <laughs> and no, you still won't see our dad until we reach one million subscribers. So click the subscribe. Click subscribing. I'm gonna say I think the girl guides are better. Yeah, I do really like these. And actually, for like a packaged up biscuit, they're really good. Mm. They're not as hard as I thought they were gonna be. They have a slight chew in the middle. Mm. The chocolate chips though are quite um strong. Mm. I like the texture it's giving. It's almost like a caramel nice, yeah. caramelized um flavour. I think it's coming from the oats. It yeah. gives like Well you like oatmeal and raisin, mm. don't you? Yeah. I'm probably only gonna give those a six or seven. I'll give them an eight out of ten. Right. I really like them. They are good though. I mm. I do enjoy the branding. Okay, and then our last biscuit to dry is something called a milk bone. I think this is for dog's care. I don't think so. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> what, you were hoping I'd say that or you were going to do the pun? I'm doing the pun. And what is the Trying pun? to make you think I don't realise they're <laughs> dog biscuits. Oh, so you were setting me up? <laughs> yeah. For the yeah, yeah slam dunk. Did I do yeah. it? Well, yeah, because you actually, well, you were like, oh, I don't think they're dog biscuits. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't think they're dog biscuits. <laughs> I'm confused. Oh no, don't, because you, <laughs> <laughs> because you were saying. Doesn't, doesn't Matt remember our trip to the past. past? No, what I'm trying to say is, you were like, I'm pretty sure they're dog biscuits. Yeah. And so you <laughs> fell for it, because yeah, well look at him. No, but I knew, I was Oh, I'm well done, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> I'm just so, I'm all over the place because I'm cracked myself up. And then, <laughs> I can't stop laughing. We haven't even had that much sugar, have we? Okay, so Katie and Andy say, because we could never forget Sweet Bob and Penny, our dog Amelia loves these. Uh. Now I have already opened these because when we get our boxes, Bob sometimes always just sits there, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, looking at them. And because um, he always thinks something's for him and this time well, there think, was something I for think because quite a few times people have sent us mm. dog treats. So I think now when the boxes arrive, he thinks, are there dog treats? Yeah. Out? Now, our dogs do enjoy things like this, but because they know there's other dog treats that we have that are kind of like bacon soft mm. things, what they do is they usually put it in their mouth, kind of chuck it to the side, and then they'll come back to it later. Mm. So, should we get Bob and Penny? Yeah. They probably won't eat it, but they will eat them later. Yeah. 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 Bob is here. Penny's here too. Boy, <laughs> Bob's Bob. like, hi, Penny, how are you? <laughs> I haven't seen you all oh, day. Sorry, Where have you been? And I said last time Bob was on, he needs a haircut, and he still hasn't had one, he still needs one. <laughs> Penny's had a bit of a haircut. You good boy, he? Bob. Penny's okay. had a haircut. Bob's going next. Right, you ready, Bob? Penny, do you want a treat? It's time to perform. Bob, do you want this? Say mum. Ooh. Bob, say mum. Bob, say mum. Mum. Bob, poor. Say mum. Now say mum. Mum. Say mum. Bob, say mum. Do you want it? No. <laughs> Penny, poor. Poor. Oh, good, good girl. girl. Oh, oh, good girl. You take that penny. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Oh, look, she's off. You she's like ready. That? Good girl. Oh, Bobsy. Oh, Bobsy boy. Oh, you're so sweet, aren't you? Oh, this is good because this is from Manitoba. Isn't that, the home, isn't that the home of the polar bears? Yeah, and this is a polar bear. And this is a furry polar bear. No, not into that. Are you okay, Bob? Say hi to all of your lovely fans. And say hi to Amelia. Amelia, yeah. And Garrick the gecko. Say hello, Bobs. He's all a bit stunned because he's yeah. been. I went into the other room, right? <laughs> he's and been I was a like, nap and we've woken Bob, him up. Bob. He's like, <laughs> I was like, you want a treat? And he's like, hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, you are so lovely, boy. Bob, aren't you? Poor Bob hasn't been the best. He um, has been struggling to walk. 
Yeah, but he's been having some tablets and he's so much better now, yeah. isn't he? Oh, well done, Bobs. Good boy, Bob. Say hi. Oh, I love him. He doesn't love me back, but yeah. Right. Bye, Bob. See you in a bit, Bob. So thank you so much for including Bob and Penny. Yeah. That's so lovely and sweet. Okay, and then last but not least, yeah. we have Cherry Blossom. Finish up the only way we Although know how. Although I can't forget about this. Would you want to do that now? Yeah. Squirt some of that in your water. Blueberry Raz. I was going to say Raz. Raz. <laughs> Blueberry Raz. Blueberry Raz. Because it's a raspberry. Raz yeah, Raz or Dazzle. And this is Crystal. You know, like Chicago, give them the old Razzle Dazzle. Give them the old Razzle Dazzle. Was it in a tin foil thing before? So, we have tried many of these things. Yeah. But, and I'm pretty sure it was a cherry blossom, but I know the other ones we've tried were from America. Yeah, we have had different. a Queen Anne. I don't remember this it coming is massive. in. It is massive. And huge. in a box and in a foil. I don't remember either. I do Are you remember going in this first? one because it's got like the nutty outside. This smells amazing. Oh my word! Oh! Mm. <laughs> mm. That's all that. Wow! That's a thick boy! Look at that! That That's is that crazy! Kind of it's nice because you have the nutty chocolate, nuts and the chocolate, which is very mm. earthy, and then you get the nice sweet syrup. Mm. It's good, isn't it? Good combo. And then is there also a bit of fondant cream in there? Mm. But That's nice, isn't it? You like that? Mm. You've looked look like you found your equivalent of an oyster mm. a chocolate oyster <laughs> oh that's really good that is so cool isn't that funny like it seems to be a really big thing in like canada and america mm. like the cherry in the middle with yeah. like a pop of mm. considering good, i've never like been a fan of like cherry desserts like cherry yeah. pie and that that's actually really delicious i think because it's so runny it almost is like a dessert not mm. like a a chocolate. Well, at first you think, oh, that's quite small for like mm. a whole thing, but then you get it out, it's massive. Yeah. That's so decadent, isn't it? Mm. Okay. What this smells this? amazing. Blue. Oh, wow, yeah. Blue Raz. Yeah. Should Blue. you do? Blue. <gasps> also, just to let you know, how I usually enjoy mine is I usually squirt it into the bottom and then I pour fizzy water because I like them as fizzy drinks. Oh, really? Look at that colour. That's a good colour, isn't it? And in this, it looks like a witch's brew. <laughs> Especially in that. <laughs> Which is <bro>. Ooh. <laughs> Barracuda. Ooh, barracuda. Right. Ooh, that is really delicious. That's got great flavour. Always when I've got them before, I've never mm. had this brand before, obviously, but when I've got the ones from America, I've always gone for more of the um, strawberry lemonades and things mm. like that. I've never had a blueberry one. Yeah. That's really delicious, actually. That is a really great flavour, mm. isn't it? And sometimes I find with these things, They've got like an almost drying on the tongue fle um, texture. Yeah, like because they're quite synthetic. But actually this one is really good. Mm, that's really good. Mm. And what's good with these is you can make it as strong or as weak as you yeah. want. And that's really nice. I'm definitely going to enjoy that with some fizzy water. Oh, that was a nice little finisher off yeah. with that drink. Because we did try drinks in the last video, but we forgot yeah. about that one. Yeah. Oh, Katie and Andy, thank you so much for that insane box. Part two was just as good as part one. Yeah, definitely. If you could only keep one half, would you be team snack or team sweet? I'm team savory. Oh, it, this was really nice. Especially because there was beer in the first half. Yeah, true, true. Mm. A five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about the you shoulder forgot roll. Them. I forgot the shoulder roll. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Drink of the week. Yeah. Although I was enjoying the bit of tap. <laughs> 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 I was going to go that way. That way. And that way. And that way. Back to the left. Back to the left. Back to the left. Oh. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> shimmy that way. Shimmy. No, shimmy that way. Shimmy. <laughs> 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 I meant shimmy. But I'm not turned around. <laughs> I can't believe you just turned around. <laughs> you shimmy back. I know what you meant. <laughs> Why would I think shimmy back? Because we did it. Sure, you did back it. in the day. I don't remember. remember I don't remember the copy. With the point, you, you shimmy together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Shimmy. That way, pose. Ready? And then die. Okay, I don't think that would be um, the new dance. Oh. oh.
<laughs> my forehead hurts. Yeah. <laughs> okay, treat of the week. Treat of the week. Um, I think my treat of the week is gonna have to be. Oh, I know. The Morden <laughs> mint ones. And I think mine has to be these. Mm. Or believe They're it or delicious. not. <gasps> no. <laughs> Either the big toe, these. Oh yeah, that was so They good. were phenomenal. Doesn't yeah. that feel like a lifetime ago? Ages ago. <laughs> oh, dearie me. The sugar's gone to my head. It really has. <laughs> we just want to say a big thank you to Katie and Andy for that spectacular box, part one and part two. Yeah, they were both incredible. Oh, we have sent them a box of British candy back to enjoy as a thank you. If anyone else would like to try some British candy, we'll leave a link down below. And that's the best way for you guys to support this channel. If you enjoy our videos and you want to help out, then think about checking out our boxes down below. Yeah, but we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.